What's up everybody, welcome back to a new video, this is Ready from Top Notch Programmer and this is the first video of the new series that I'm uploading. In this series we're gonna learn about social media automation, we're gonna start learning about Python, Selenium, web drivers and everything you need to do or to build a bot or a program that automates your social media tasks and during this uh, series we're gonna build an Instagram comment bot. So this bot is going to comment automatically on recent posts on the uh, Instagram based on the hashtags so basically it is going to pick a hashtag search for post only for recent post and this means that the post that I just uploaded one or minute or two minutes and then it is going to comment on each of them one by one after reaching six uh, uh, comments it is going to change account so we are going to implement the account rotation feature on it so we can avoid violating Instagram rules and community guidelines so this is why we have to change accounts okay so without further ado let's start with the first video Yo, welcome back everybody and let's start with this video. So in this first video, we are going to install all everything we need, starting from Python, VS Code, where we are going to edit the code and uh, some other things. So let's start installing Python. So I have already installed on my computer, but I'm going to show you how you could do that. So just go to Google and search for Python download and click on the first link. So you have to install Python 3 version. The, the latest version is, is Python 3.9. Just go ahead and install that. Click on download and it is going to immediately start downloading. But during the install setup, you have to uh, check something that is important. Okay, now it's downloaded and just click on it to, to run the setup. Okay, now you have to install it, but uh, for now it's showing me upgrade now because I have already installed it. If you don't have installed it, just go ahead and click install now. But before clicking install, there is a checkbox here below where it shows you add to path. You have to check that uh, checkbox if, because we have to add to path uh, Python. If you don't check it, it is not going to work while we want to install uh, require, uh, the requirements using pip or any library using pip. So it, it will show you pip is not recognized. So you have to uh, check that add to path box. Okay, so after installing Python, to check if the Python is installed, just open command line and uh, type a Python. And if you show if it shows this uh, the Python version, you are good to go and everything is done. So now we can close this. And the second thing we have to install is VS Code because we are going to edit code with VS Code. You can choose any editor you want, but I like to to, to use VS Code. So VS Code download in the Google and click on the this one. So download Visual Studio Code, not Visual Studio, but Visual Studio Code, because Visual Studio is for and it's something else. So just choose uh, Windows or Mac or anything based on your operating system. You can also find the link on the description. Just click on download and run the setup. But I have already installed. Okay. So now we have to create a folder where we are going to store all the files and uh, the code. So just go, I'm creating a folder in desktop, so create a new folder and uh, I'm going to call it uh, igbot, just ig-bot. Okay, so now we are going to open this folder on VS Code. And to open this on VS Code, just open your VS Code, I have it here. So I have a, already a project open here, but I'm gonna open a new folder. Just click on File, Open Folder, and go to Desktop where my folder is, and here is IGBot. So just select it and click Select Folder. So it is asking me if I want to save it. So, okay. Now we can close this, get started, and we are ready to go to install everything we need and to create our files. So the first file we're gonna create is uh, the run.py file where we are going to run the bot. You can call anything you want, but I, I like to call run.py. So run.py. And here we are going to write all the code. Before writing the code, we are going to install the requirements 
we need. And the first requirement and the most important one is Selenium. And if you don't know what Selenium is, Selenium is a library where we can control the web driver. And the web driver is the browser, but is an automated browser that we can use to automate any website we want. So to open a terminal here on the VS Code, we are you can click Terminal in the menu and click New Terminal, or you can uh, press Control and the asterisk key. So just click on Terminal New, and here is the integrated terminal below. I'm going to make this uh, larger so it's easily to see. And okay, so now it's good, and we have to create uh, to install requirements. But before installing requirements, we are going to create a Python environment. And the Python environment is needed to install any library, any requirements we want in the environment, but not directly in our PC. So I'm going to create environment. And to create environment, we have to uh, use this command. So Python dash M V and V and now we have to put a name of the environment. So for now, I'm going to type uh, env as in the name environment is just a shortcut. Press enter. And now, uh, as you can see in the side, we have a new folder called env. And now it is created. So we have just to activate the environment. And to activate the environment, we have uh, different ways on different operating system. In Windows, we can activate environment with this command. So just type env, the name of the of the environment we choose. So it's env for now. In this case, now we have to type backslash scripts scripts backslash again and activate. Now press enter and the uh, the environment is activated and you can see here it shows env if you are on mac uh, operating system or a linux oper operating system like ubuntu or uh, any other uh, it's different to activate the environment and to activate in mac or linux you have to type source uh, env the name of the environment slash bin slash activate Okay, so this is the command for only for Mac and Linux operating systems. But on Windows, we use this one. Okay, so now it's okay and we are done with the environment. Now we can install any uh, file or any requirement or any uh, library we want. So the first thing we have to install is uh, Selenium. We can go to the Selenium official website and if you type on uh, Google Selenium, uh, here is the official website and we can see anything we want here. Any, uh, We can download drivers, we can uh, see any tutorials or anything that we need. But for now, uh, we are going to download or install it in the Python environment. And uh, for now, we don't need this website. I, I just show you if in case if you need something here. Uh, I'm going to close it and go back to the studio. And uh, we are going to install it using pip. So to install Selenium, just type pip install Selenium. Press enter. And now it's going to collect everything and install it. So if you are on Mac or Linux, you have a different ma uh, command for pip. Always in the Mac and Linux operating systems, you have to use pip3 and, uh, and Python3 when you want to run the files. Python3. You have to specify always 3. Okay, so now we have Selenium installed. And here on this Python file, I'm just going to write a, a simple code just to show you that works. So print hello world. Okay, so save the file will with control plus s or you can click uh, file and save. Now to run this file, to run this file we created, uh, we 
can run it using the Python command. So Python and the name of the file run.py. Enter and it will show us hello world. Okay guys, this is all I wanted to show you on this video. So we are going next to the new video where we're going to install everything else we need. We are going to run the web driver and go to a simple website. Just jump in the next video of this series and I see you there. Goodbye.